The Royal Navy's flagship, HMS Queen Elizabeth, arrived in Hamburg, Germany on November 18, 2024, marking a significant milestone in UK-Germany defense relations. The aircraft carrier's visit follows a series of successful joint exercises with the German military in the North Sea, focusing on enhancing operational interoperability between the two NATO allies. Navigating the River Elba, HMS Queen Elizabeth docked at the Steinwerder Cruise Terminal, where it will remain for five days. This marks the first visit by a Royal Navy aircraft carrier to Hamburg in 13 years, as well as the inaugural visit of a Queen Elizabeth-class carrier to the city. During its time in port, the ship will host a range of high-level defense engagements, including ministerial visits, conferences, and strategic discussions. Central to the visit is the recent signing of the Trinity House Agreement, a landmark defense treaty between the UK and Germany. This agreement underscores both nations' shared commitment to bolstering European security in light of the ongoing threats posed by Russia's war in Ukraine. The treaty emphasizes critical defense collaborations, such as the development of advanced maritime drone technologies aimed at countering both surface and underwater threats, a crucial aspect of modern naval warfare. The HMS Queen Elizabeth will serve as the backdrop for discussions surrounding procurement strategies for military equipment and the enhancement of collaboration through initiatives like the Military Equipment Capability Cooperation MECC. These talks reflect the growing defense partnership between the UK and Germany, both key NATO members. Before arriving in Hamburg, HMS Queen Elizabeth conducted joint operations with the German Navy and Army helicopters, including NH-90 and Navy Lynx MK-88 helicopters. The helicopters performed deck landing operations on the carrier's expansive flight deck, demonstrating the operational synergy between the two forces. The visit comes at a time when the role of aircraft carriers in NATO's defense strategy is more critical than ever. Should a conflict arise, particularly with Russia, the HMS Queen Elizabeth would play a pivotal role in projecting power and ensuring air superiority across key sea lanes. The carrier's fleet of F-35B Lightning II aircraft could carry out precision strikes against Russian military targets, conduct reconnaissance, and provide close air support to NATO ground forces in Germany and Eastern Europe. Positioned in the North Sea, the Queen Elizabeth would benefit from a relatively safer operational environment, remaining outside the immediate range of Russia's advanced anti-access area denial, a 2 ad systems, such as Kaliningrad's S-400 missiles and Iskander systems. However, if deployed into the Baltic Sea, the carrier would provide more direct support to Germany and frontline NATO states, albeit with increased vulnerability to Russian missile and naval threats. As part of a carrier strike group, HMS Queen Elizabeth would further bolster NATO's maritime dominance. Its accompanying destroyers, frigates and submarines would work in unison to counter Russian naval movements and secure strategic maritime corridors crucial for NATO's logistics and operational frameworks. However, such a deployment is not without risks. The proximity of the carrier to Russian territory makes it a potential target for missile strikes and cyber attacks aimed at disrupting operations. Extended missions would also place a strain on logistical networks, necessitating secure resupply and maintenance options at ports in northern Germany or other allied nations. In summary, the visit of HMS Queen Elizabeth to Hamburg highlights the strengthening of UK-Germany defense ties and the strategic importance of aircraft carriers in NATO's military framework. As tensions with Russia persist, the collaboration between the two nations underscores their shared commitment to maintaining security and stability in Europe.